Hi, I'm Dr. Alex Del Duca, a naturopathic physician on Vancouver Island. I'm here with my patient, Jaden. Jaden here is getting some platelet-rich plasma in his glenohumeral joint today under ultrasound guidance using the Clarius L7 wireless scanner. Jaden's had a history of shoulder instability and multiple dislocations over the last 10 years. We're gonna be giving him some PRP to help strengthen and support the glenohumeral joint. So hopefully he gets some relief from the instability. And we'll just have that arm up for a little second there. Okay. You needle phobic at all, Jaden? Uh, no. No? Okay. Great. So we're going to be just cutting off the, um, using a tourniquet to help uh, make the veins a little more pronounced for drawing the PRP. We're going to be wiping with alcohol, making sure that we're as clean as can be. So today we're going to be using the Arthrex PRP system, the Angel system by Arthrex. And that system will be collecting 120 ml of whole blood. That will be centrifuged down to approximately three to four cc's of concentrated PRP. Processing time can take upwards of 20 to 30 minutes. However, this is one of the more concentrated products which can help yield a beneficial effect from the PRP. Jaden here has not had PRP in the past. He has had prolotherapy from a Dextro Solution. Okay, Jaden, there's gonna be a teeny tiny poke. You ready? Mm -hmm. And one, two, three, poke. Sorry about that. Okay, great. Okay, so we're collecting the blood and we don't wanna be collecting this too fast from Jaden. We wanna be very gentle with these platelets as if we're too aggressive, too shaking, they can rupture. So here we are adding the second syringe of two to the Arthrex Angel PRP system. We've collected a total of 120 mils of fluid for the PRP system here. So this is going to be collected in bag one. It'll be spun in the centrifuge device. This machine is very easy to use and the setup yields one of the most concentrated products on the market and it does take about 20 minutes with 120 mils of blood and you'll see the three chambers chamber one fill up here and then separate all those fluids here and we'll check back in 20 minutes to see our finished product. So we'll go ahead and get Jaden prepped for the injection. We've already prepped 2% chlorhexidine swab, which is also going to be acting as our transducer median. Okay, Jaden, just a little bit of wetness there. Let's take a look at the tissue. Okay. So here we have an image of the posterior glenohumeral joint. We can see the curvature of the posterior humeral head, and we can even see the labral tissue. We'll be inserting the needle in between the posterior humeral head on the medial aspect and the labrum. We're going to start. I don't see any issues in terms of vascularization on the way to the injection, and this looks like an optimized image to have a successful injection. Okay, Jaden, we're gonna feel a little pinch. Okay. You doing okay? Yes, sir. Great. And a little poke, one, two, three, poke. This injection is performed and often more steep than most physicians realize when they begin injecting shoulders and very often we have to take a few tries at injecting this area to make sure that we're being so, so, so delicate with the labrum and soft tissue in and around the joint. We doing okay? Yes, sir. Great. Okay, so we're just going through a little bit of tissue here. Excellent. Okay. Great. 
Perfect. So we missed the labral tissue there. And we're going to see if we see any distension. And if we don't, we can determine that that is in the capsule. So a little bit of distension. Great. That is a perfect injection. No problems. We even see that fluid going in. And we haven't disturbed the labrum. How are you doing there, Jaden? Fantastic. Going to feel a little teeny tiny bit full. And there we go. So because this is PRP, I've explained to Jaden that there is going to be some minor discomfort over the next few days. This is an inflammatory injection, which is in contrast to cortisone, where it generally doesn't flare as commonly as regenerative injections. And this is going to help strengthen soft tissue and hopefully move Jaden along in his experience with chronic shoulder instability. And we are done. Thank you so much for watching.